<laughs> Flight boss, bitch, you know. For sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's mood. I'm the RJ Jurian, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was moonwalking, but we star walking. You know, we moving forward in our lives. But the moon is still important because to know where you're going, you have to know where the fuck you came from. So for the most part, you know, it's all in alignment. But we're going to talk about census in this motherfucker. So what is census? Now, when you catch a sense, now we know what being a sensei is, being a master of your senses, a a.k.a. we all supposed to have common sense, but all of our senses is not in common. So for the most part, we end up utilizing our individuality for lostness and things of that nature. And then we don't have an even grounds where we can relate to each other in this big chakra that we created to swim in together in some way, shape or form. So keep that in mind. Now, what does it mean when I'm talking about senses, right? Here's the thing, right? You ever was in a situation, right, and you caught a thought or feeling that's external based upon the substance that you're paying, to, paying attention to at the moment? That's the light that we utilize to create experiences for our spiritual ex experiments. See what I'm saying? That's experiences. So we might utilize a substance, a thought and a feeling. And when we dive into that, we could create like a vision or a circumstance or a situation that we're paying attention to at the moment. Now, here's the thing. When you're paying attention to a certain energy and that's the only thing you're paying attention to. And then you catch this sense from somewhere else and say that sense start to take shape and form within your mind of a person, place or thing. Nine times out of ten, let's say a person. That person was thinking about you. So keep that in mind also. Or they was casting esoteric stones at you in some way, shape or form. Or... They got some type of negative vibration towards you, or it could be positive, but based upon how you receive the energy, if it's kind of just up in the air, it's mundane. If you feel heavy about it, then it's negative. If you feel light about it, like, damn, that person came to mind, but I don't know why, then it was probably positive. See what I'm saying? But if it's kind of like mundane, it's just here and there and things of that nature, that's when it's just in between. That person might have just had you on their mind based upon whatever that they was into or what kind of conversations that they was having at the moment. So keep that in mind also. Now, here's the thing, right? There's a thin line. There's a thin line between you thinking about somebody and somebody thinking about you. And this is when you can become demonic. Here's where you can get into your, your witchcraft and rigidry and it turn into demonic or goblin or warlock energy in some way, shape, or form. So you have to be careful of that. Because here's the thing, right? When you're sitting back and you're thinking about somebody, right? You will use your witch and wizardry as a spirit and create all kind of ways of how whatever person that is on your mind, how they was interpreting something towards you in some way, shape, or form. So you will get very creative with it, a.k.a. you will start fitting size shoes that ain't yours, and you will start jumping in front of bullets that wasn't directed towards you and things of that nature. Because you're being a spiritual magician in the wrong area and things of that nature. So you got to be careful of that, too. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be in a situation where... You the one thinking about somebody and then you start to get their, their images in your mind and then you start to create circumstances of how you think this person is actually thinking about you. So you're creating any kind of scenario and then you can see a representation from this individual and it might not have anything to do with you. If you wasn't in mind when this person is playing out those actions, yet you will find something in there that can, that can pertain to you in some way, shape or form. And that's when you are too invested into the energy. So keep that in mind too. So you got to peak game. It only, play, it only plays out in situations when it's out of sight, out of mind. This is how y'all lose things, too, where another spirit can come in and take something from you that you had and you, you organized and you put in a certain circumstance, right? But the moment you let it go out of sight, out of mind, the moment you throw it in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional realm in a less dense realm, and for the most part, that very dense object can actually be absorbed by another spirit that, that like that desire and snatch it away from you. And then once you come, once you recollect your thoughts, AKA put that that image or whatever that you had back in sight, back in mind, and then go try to get it, you'll start to realize that you lost it in some way, shape, or form. And you'll be for sure that you placed it in the area that you placed it, but the moment the moment you let it go out of sight, out of mind, is the moment that you do it in the fourth, fifth, or sixth dimensional ram. And depending on how much you got it rooted into this dimension, like it, it has to be something that you truly desire, but it ain't something that is constantly on your mind on a 24-7 basis like you need it. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you just bought a favorite shirt or some shit like that, right? But you don't necessarily need that shirt. You like that shirt, but you got so many other shirts that you can sit that somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And just, it could be out of sight, out of mind. But it's still a desire that you heavily rooted in, in some way, shape, or form, right? 
those aspects is when a spirit in the fourth, fifth, or sixth dimensional realm can take a shape and form and actually take that away from you in some way, shape, or form. So keep that in mind also, based upon you being heavily rooted into a desire that you have let go out of sight and out of mind. So you put a heavy light in an esoteric realm and that actual object can actually go with it. I'm going to do a whole video on that so y'all can understand that on a more clear perspective. But for the most part, when you're thinking about um, and you're sitting and you don't have you're in a whole nother circumstance or situation. So this person is not on your mind or anything of that nature. If you start to get visions and feelings that this person is on your mind in some way, shape, or, uh, that they do pop up on your mind, then you need, you need to know nine times out of ten, they're casting stones or they're putting you in a certain energy, a.k.a. they're speaking about you or thinking about you or feeling about you in an enormous amount of way. And if it's, if it's real heavy, that means it's negative. If it's light and it's kind of here and there, but you don't really feel no serious way about it, it was positive. If it's kind of you just had a thought, but you just go back to what you was doing anyway, and it was, it was just here and there, you didn't dive into it to be like, I wonder why I thought this person would have, then it was mundane. This person was just utilizing you for a conversation or something like that, but they didn't even really mean whatever they was mixing your energy up in when they was participating in that. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind off, coach. So this is when it comes down to understanding senses. You can't be a person that's lost into the world and lost into needing validation because you will be the person that slowly but shortly be more on the side of you thinking more about people and things of that nature. So you be in a situation where you're making up things, thinking people thinking about you, and it's really you creating any kind of scenario that you see from these individuals um, to be going on you in some way, shape, or form. So keep that in mind also. Um, you have to be spiritually inclined to, to know how to let things go. So that goes mentally, emotionally, and physically. So when you let certain things go in certain realms of realities and certain dimensions, by default, you already fulfill that space with something else that you're doing. So for something to take you out of that space, something else took you out of that space. But here's the thing. when uh, That's when you know that someone else was thinking or feeling about you or casting stones in some way, shape, or form and had you on their mind. But here's the thing. A lot of y'all don't be in that new space by default. A lot of y'all be in the same space of the actual event or the person, place, or thing, and things of that nature. So you be in the same space where you develop an Adams and Eves of constantly thinking about them, so you're constantly in a cycle of creating scenarios of thinking that this person is thinking about you in some way, shape, or form. So you have to be careful that you're not on that polar ship. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I said, that's how you know someone is thinking about you or casting stones at you in some way, shape, or form. When you're sitting back and you're actually fulfilled in another area so you're not even in that space where you develop and manifest that person place or thing in the first place you're no longer in that space you're in another space so that's you're fulfilling another area so if, if substances come back from that area and it, it wasn't on your own will your own doing like you didn't jump into that spaceship yourself to start pondering over old thoughts and things of that nature then nine times out of ten you, you're getting help in the esoteric realm by other spirits that you have participated with and created some kind of small per, percentage level of a soul tie around. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Awesome. So flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. We're about to be out this motherfucker.